Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the next six months. This is actually going to be from whenever you watch it till the end of 2021. So uh, this is going to be for the just the uh, rest of the year reading, basically. And we're just going to see uh, what is coming in for you over the next six months or whenever you watch it here, Cancer. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what is going on for you uh, over the next six months or so. And also, uh, we're just going to get started. We're just going to jump in here and see what happens. We're just going to do a free flow kind of spread here, and we're going to see what's up. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is the tarot of the mystical moments that I'm using here. Uh, so let's see uh, what we have for you here, Cancer. Uh, I feel like this is kind of like three things, which is interesting. Um, you're the only sign uh, that has kind of had this message where I feel that these are kind of three separate, um, you know, I almost feel like these are three separate situations that are going to be happening for you over the next six months. I feel like these are three different things that are coming in for you. Uh, first off, you start off with the forgiveness card. I don't feel like this is uh, forgiveness. Like I feel that for some of you, you're forgiving yourself here, but it's more of like a transformation that you're going through, I would say. Um, and that's like the forgiveness. I feel like you're getting rid of that feeling. You know, I'm just gonna describe the feeling to you here, Cancer, where it's like the feeling of like, uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? I, like I feel you have the seven of cups here and I, I think you're just like looking back on the past and you're saying like, uh, you know, I shoulda connected all these dots. But you know, again, as Steve Jobs says, said, you know, we can't connect the dots looking forward. We can only connect them looking back. So I almost feel you're forgiving yourself for not doing things or that you should have done. It's like, what? Sh we, we shouldn't do anything <laughs> is what it boils down to. People put too much pressure on yourself. So I'm giving you permission here, Cancer, to forgive yourself for things that you didn't do, that you should have done, whatever. Uh, I feel like this is important because clearly it's leading to a major transformation. You have the death card and you have this eight of pentacles here. There is a butterfly on this death card that she has kind of like on her hand there. And then there is a giant butterfly on this eight of pentacles. There's butterflies all over it. So this kind of like transformation that you're going through, forgiving yourself for things um, that you maybe feel like you should have done, or maybe there are certain responsibilities that you feel like you should have taken advantage of, and maybe you didn't, but it's like you're forgiving yourself for this. And it's like you're doing what you can now, which I feel is, which I feel like is more important than anything. It's like, you know, um, you know, there are a billion sayings out there that basically all say the same thing. It's like, if you can't fix something, you know, yesterday, there's no, you know, there's no better time than today. So I feel for a lot of you, it's kind of like you're saying, you know what? I'm going to get moving. I'm going to do what I can now. I do feel that for a lot of you, you're being shown something or you're having some sort of realization over the next six months. And it's like a gift is what's popping into my head here. Uh, cancer, it is like a little bit of an intense energy that I'm getting here. Like I feel like emotional in, in this first row here as well. And so I do feel that you could be going through like a little bit of an emotional experience. It's not, this is not, you know, this is not scary. This is not a bad thing. It's popping into my head as a gift that you are receiving. And it's going to be almost like a little bit of a wake up call. I feel you even have the judgment card right here. So I feel you're being shown something that kind of like wakes you up. It's like, I, I've, I've told this story before. Uh, I remember years ago, I watched this documentary and I don't remember, people have asked me and I can't remember for the life of me uh, what the documentary was, but it was like this uh, lady. Um, and it was like during this period of my life where I wasn't doing anything for like two years and I was just sitting around stewing doing nothing. <laughs> and uh, I watched this documentary um, about this lady who had cancer and she was like begging for life and she died. And that's the whole point of the documentary, but she died and she was like begging to be alive. And I was like, you know what? And I watched that documentary and, it's like, and, and it got my ass moving, right? It, it kicked my ass into gear because I was like, you know what? This lady, she, she would like gladly trade places with me. I was doing nothing except moping around being miserable, right? And it was like one of those moments in my life that I'll never forget. And so, um, yeah, like I feel like you're having that kind of situation going on in your life. Kind of weird message, but that's what I'm getting for you here, Cancer. And you have the sun. It's ultimately a gift from the universe. It's going to make you very happy. It's going to lead to a lot of success. And uh, I also feel more like growth for you here as well. I'm getting something about connections here um, popping into my head with the sun card. It's almost like you're noticing certain connections in your life. 
I feel like this gives you energy. So uh, let's see where this is going. <laughs> you have the Ace of Wands, major new beginning coming in for you here, Cancer. And your life is gonna be totally different, is what I feel. I feel that you, looking back in December 31st, you know, the end of the year, I feel like you're gonna look back over this year and things are going to be like drastically uh, changed or your life is going to be uh, significantly different. Yeah, you have the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're becoming more adventurous is what this is saying. And you have the Hierophant as well. Hierophant is a card of education and it can represent lessons from the universe. So it kind of fits in with what I was saying. It's almost like the universe is showing you, uh, you know, something or you're having this wake up call that is kind of pushing you to be more adventurous, is pushing you to get moving, pushing you to take more risks, pushing you to dig into mysteries as well. You have the High Priestess here. High Priestess is, you know, one of those cards. I, I like it and I don't at the same time because to me, it's kind of like it can be a card of mysteries, but it's a card of no, no action. It's like we have to choose to take action on things that we find mysterious. So I feel like this is just saying... I, I just get this energy of adventure, like I said, and I get this energy of you being willing to just try things, I feel. And this is going to change your life significantly. Uh, Hierophant is, I'm getting the word lessons popping into my head, but um, these lessons are like opening doors. I'm really focused on the keys that show up right here under the Hierophant. There are two keys, and I feel that there are some doors opening because of some lessons that you have learned or are learning. You, next, you have the chop wood card here in this middle row. I feel like you're going to be clearly be very busy. You have the eight of pentacles in this row as well. There's like a lot of work and kind of a lot of, um, you know, I feel, but I also feel a very disciplined energy here. You have the emperor as your center card. I feel like that emperor is you. Um, yes, I understand that the emperor is Aries, but I feel like that is the energy that you are embracing at this time. It's like you're embracing this very disciplined energy over the next... I feel like saying over the next three months, you're going to have this, and it's it's not going to stop. I feel like you're kind of building this more disciplined energy up inside of you, and it's not, it's not going to stop after three months. I feel like it's just like over the next three months, you're going to be kind of like working on it. You're going to be becoming more disciplined and more hardworking, but this is a great card for hard work. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is also a great card for hard work because Eight of Pentacles like results. Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. So Eight of Pentacles to me can say, you're working very hard and maybe you're not receiving the gifts right now, but there are definitely gifts coming in for you here, uh, Cancer. So I feel there's like a lot of good energy here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Ace of Wands. I do get like, I feel like a zap here on the Ace of Wands. I feel like you finally understand like what you're supposed to be doing. I feel you finally understand the direction that you're supposed to be going in your in your life. It's like you understand your purpose. Now, I, I don't really believe we have a purpose other than, you know, I feel like we're here on earth to create our own reality, uh, whatever that means for you. So, you know, um, I feel like we are just here to manifest things that we desire. I feel like we're here to experience abundance as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's the Ace of Wands. I, I always say Ace of Wands is my favorite card in the tarot because to me, it's a very abundant card and it's card of creation as well. So it's like you are just at this time realizing like that you want to create something here probably your own little empire with the emperor showing up here as well the eight of pentacles i feel is like a very focused card she's like working on one thing here and i always say eight of pentacles is normally the guy he's only working on the eight pentacles that are in front of him and so he's kind of like just very focused on uh, creating one thing in his life and that's what i feel like you're doing here uh cancer let's see you have the wheel of fortune your destiny <laughs> i like this reading for you this is a good reading you have, you have the nine of wands i feel like you're giving something one last shot and you have the four of swords healing so definitely going through a healing. That nine of wands is like you trying one last thing. For some of you, I feel like you're going back to something here and giving it another try. And, and for most of you, I do not think this is a relationship. I feel that this is more something that you've been trying to create in your life. Like again, you're trying to create your own reality. And there's something that you've been trying to work on. There's something that you've been trying to manifest and trying to create. And this to me is you kind of trying again. Like I said, I feel like you're going back and trying to uh, do something over again here with this energy. 
this is definitely part of your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of your destiny, but you control the direction that the wheel spins in, and you control it with your vibration. So definitely keep it positive over the next three months. I do. There is some sort of major new beginning. I have a feeling we're going to pull an extra route for you here because I want more details on the Ace of Wands twice showing up in your reading. Uh, next, you have this hyena card here. Uh, the hyena card in this deck is about laughter and having fun. I would, I am definitely getting the message like take time out. So I do feel you should take some time out to have fun. It looks like you're going to be working very hard with this middle row. So make sure you're taking time to enjoy life, to do the things that you enjoy doing. You know all those other other things as well. I also feel like you're being called to something. This card is kind of like the difference between like light and dark or, you know, uh, the, the daytime and nighttime. There's like a difference here. You can see that moon. It's kind of like covered up half light, half dark here. And I do get that for you here, Cancer, because uh, you have the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. I'm getting like, what is the truth? Is Those are the words that are popping into my head on the High Priestess. I feel like you're waking up to some sort of truth, but this is not, this is a very broad message, I would say, Cancer. It's like, I feel like it's not talking about like a person, like a, a truth with a person. I feel like this is like a truth in life. It's like you're um, seeing things that you thought were true as not true. I feel like you're seeing things that were true as, as true and you know all this other stuff, right? So it's like you're getting down to some very kind of like fine details. I almost feel like you're kind of like refining your life here, it's like you're getting very specific. The Ten of Pentacles, a lot of success in Judgment card. Like I said earlier, there's definitely a wake-up call or you're hearing um, some sort of calling at this time. And I feel like you're kind of just waking up to something here, uh, Cancer. Uh, let's see. I'm, I need more details. What are you waking up to? King of Swords. For some of you, I do feel you're waking up to a person. It could be a Pisces. It could be any sign uh, that's coming in for you here. I do feel like some of you are waking up to a person, but it's only because this person is communicating with you. So I do feel if you're one of those people who's looking for love, there will be communication coming in for you over the next six months or so, you know, till the end of the year. And this is probably someone who's more mature, older than you. This person comes with like a, I'm getting bag of tricks, <laughs> but it's not a bad thing. I also feel this person is very well established. So you could be attracting a person who is established. Yeah, look, you have the uh, High Priestess here as well with the Ten of Pentacles. I was getting the word establishment on the Ten of Pentacles. So number one, I feel you could be attracting a person who you work with as far as love is concerned, but it could also just be a person who is established. Like I said, I was getting that word establishment. And what I mean by established is just someone who probably has their life together. <laughs> you know, just, just that simple. And you have the King of Pentacles, another card of establishment, by the way. Uh, King of Pentacles is a card of convention. And it's kind of like the card of the way things have always been done. So you're attracting, if you're looking for love, you're attracting someone who is established. If you're not looking for love, this is you becoming more established. It's like you're kind of becoming more stable in life. So love it, Cancer. I want to get more details on this new beginning coming in for you. You have the Nine of Pentacles. It's going to make you very successful. It's going to lead to a lot of abundance here, Cancer. You have the Three Cups, Celebrations. I'm getting the word time on the Three of Cups as well, which is interesting. Three Cups does not represent time. But uh, I'm almost getting that uh, if whatever this new beginning that you're having is, it's going to lead to you having more time. Like I feel like you have more free time, more uh, time to do things you enjoy. Yeah, and you have the Queen of Pentacles here as well. So you have the King and Queen of Pentacles. If you're looking for love, very good because the King and the Queen of Pentacles can represent uh, a you know very deep connection. Can represent soulmates. It's a uh, divine counterparts. So, and not only that, that would be a very stable relationship. Uh, for others, I feel that there is, it, for, for a lot of you, I feel like you're going from single to being in a relationship here, Cancer. So I don't hate that, especially if you're looking for love over the next six months. You have the Two of Swords here. Yeah, you know, some of you are gonna have to make a decision though, like do you wanna stay single or do you want a relationship? I feel like once you make up your mind, then you will have a relationship. I do feel some of you, or maybe having a hard time like deciding, do I want to be in a relationship or do I want to stay single? So, you know, I would open up with that Two of Swords. Yeah, you have the Seven of Wands here and the Six of Cups, love. Uh, so definitely love coming in for you. Remember what I was saying about getting a second chance with this Nine of Wands here? The Nine of Wands Emperor is your center card, which is like the most important position here in this spread. 
Six of Cups is another card to me that says try again. Six of Cups is a turnaround, and Six of Cups is a gift from the universe. Like I said, you're receiving some sort of gift from the universe here in this reading. The gift we receive with these Six of Cups is obstacles being removed from our path. So it's like if we have tried to do something, like if we've tried to start a business and it didn't work out, or tried a relationship, it didn't work out. Six of Cups is like the second chance. And it's funny that I said that over here with the Nine of Wands. It's like there's clearly some sort of second chance or do over whatever you want to call it that is kind of coming in for you. I feel like it's because you are receiving the resources necessary to do something. It's a pretty simple reading, actually. Um, the Queen of Pentacles really is the answer. It's kind of just saying that you are going to be getting the resources necessary to do something that you want to do. So you could be getting the money you need to start a business or to move or to travel. You could be getting the money to be able to date or to go out or something. Uh, it doesn't even have to be money. It could be anything. It could be the time. Remember what I was saying about the three cups. So uh, this is a great reading. I love this. So thank you for being here, Cancer. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Cancer, and definitely enjoy your next six months.